गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस्ड द फंडामेंटल सोल्यूशन ऑफ लाप्लास इक्वेशन एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ पॉइजन इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिफाइन पॉइजन इक्वेशन पॉइजन इक्वेशन इज अ नॉन होमोजीनियस फॉर्म ऑफ लाप्लास इक्वेशन लाप्लास इक्वेशन इज गिवन बाय Laplacian of u is equal to zero, and in the non-homogeneous form, the equation becomes Laplacian of u is equal to minus f. Here, f is twice continuously differentiable function with compact support defined on the Euclidean space R n. This function u, that is a function defined. on u closer and is real valued function capital u that is open subset of euclidean space rn and we take the point x belonging to this open subset of rn so this equation that is called poisson's equation and today we will discuss the solution of this equation so the theorem is show that the function u defined by the formula u is equal to integral over rn of the function phi which is the function of x minus y into fy here this phi is fundamental solution of laplace equation we are to show that this function satisfies the two conditions first condition this function is twice continuously differentiable function on euclidean space rn and second condition this function satisfies the poisson's equation in space rn so first we prove this part that u is twice continuously differentiable function so we will show that the second order partial derivatives of function u exists now the function u is given to be integral over rn of the function phi which is the function of x minus y into fy by convolution property this integral can further be written as integral over rn phi y into f of x minus y dy now let us <coughs> consider u of x plus h e i minus u x upon h substituting the values of these two functions the value of u at x plus h e i that can be obtained from here by replacing x by x plus h e i and the value of u x is the same so we can substitute the values here and taking this h inside we get the value of this expression given by integral over rn phi y into f of x plus h e i minus phi minus f of x minus phi upon h this integral is with respect to y now as this h approaches to zero this expression becomes the partial derivative of f with respect to x i so if we apply limits in this expression the left side will become partial derivative of u with respect to xi and on the right side we get the integral over rn of the function phi of y into curl f by curl xi this integral is with respect to y now similarly we can find the second order partial derivatives uh, we get curl to u by curl x i curl x j is equal to integral over r n of the function phi into curl to f by curl x i curl x j now this expression on the right hand side that is continuous in the variable x also the function f that is twice continuously differentiable function with compact support so these derivatives also exists and are continuous so we can say that 
second order partial derivatives of function u exists and therefore the function u is twice continuously differentiable function on Rn. This completes the first part. Now in the second part, we will prove that this function u is the solution of Poisson's equation. It means we are to show that del u is equal to minus f. Now the function phi that has singularity at 0. So let us isolate this singularity inside a small ball with center 0 radius epsilon. Here epsilon is a positive number which is fixed and th that is a small quantity. So the function u which was defined to be integral over rn phi of x minus phi into f phi dy by convolution property this integral has been written in the form integral over rn phi of phi into f of x minus phi dy. Now <clears throat> we can break this integral into two parts. One integral is taken over the ball with center 0 radius epsilon and the other we have taken over the complement of the ball and we have taken uh, Laplacian on both sides. So Laplacian of u is equal to integral of phi y into Laplacian of f of x minus y over the complement of the ball plus integral of phi y into Laplacian of f of x minus y over the ball with center 0 radius epsilon. Here this Laplacian we have taken with respect to x. So we have used the suffix x in the base to show that this Laplacian is taken with respect to x. Now let us denote these two integrals by i and j and we find their values one by one. So first we consider the integral i and taking modulus on both sides. So we get mod of i is equal to mod of the integral over the ball with center 0 radius epsilon of the function phi y into the Laplacian of function of x minus y dy. Now Laplacian with respect to x is same as the Laplacian with respect to y. So we can replace this term by Laplacian of function f of x minus y with respect to y. Now by using the properties of integral, the mod of integral is less than or equal to integral of mod. So <coughs> this can be written as this is less than or equal to integral over the ball with center 0 radius epsilon. Inside we have mod of phi of y into mod of Laplacian of f of x minus y with respect to y. Now this is further less than or equal to d2f norm on the space L infinity into the integral phi of y mod over the ball with center 0 radius epsilon. And so finally mod of i is less than or equal to uh, c epsilon square log of epsilon mod for n is equal to 2 and for n greater than or equal to 3 i mod is less than or equal to c epsilon square. These are the estimates for derivatives which we discuss later and as epsilon approaches to 0 we can see that this approaches to 0. So we can say that mod of i approaches to 0 as epsilon approaches to 0. Now we consider the integral j. Integral j is the integral of the function phi of y into Laplacian of f of x minus y. This integral is over the complement of the ball with center 0 radius epsilon. Now to find the value of this integral we use Green's formula which we already discussed. According to this formula integral of u del v over the set u that is given by minus 
integral over u du dot dv plus integral over the boundary of u curl v by curl nu into u ds this nu is a normal unit vector so using this formula here uh, we get the value of j which is given by minus integral here u is the complement of the ball with center 0 radius epsilon and v and u these are the functions phi and f of x minus y so this by using this formula the value j becomes minus integral over the complement of the ball of the function d phi dot d f of x minus y dy plus integral over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon of the function phi of y into curl f by curl nu f is the function of x minus y here this nu is the normal unit vector along the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon and this is acting inward now let us denote these two terms by k and l and we find their values one by one so let us consider the mod of the integral denoted by l substituting the value of l here and using the property of integrals this is less than or equal to integral of mod of phi y into the mod of curl f by curl v over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon now this term is further less than or equal to a norm of df on the spatial infinity so this expression is further less than or equal to norm of df on the spatial infinity into integral of mod of phi over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon now again using the estimates this expression is further less than or equal to c epsilon into log of epsilon mod for n is equal to 2 and for n greater than or equal to 3 this is less than or equal to c epsilon and as epsilon approaches to 0 l approaches to 0 now it remains to find the value of k now k is the integral denoted by minus integral over the complement of the ball of the function d phi dot d f of x minus y dy here the gradient t that is with respect to the variable y now again applying the same greens formula here u is uh, the complement of the ball with center 0 radius epsilon so using this formula we get the value of integral k which is given by minus integral over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon curl phi by curl nu into f of x minus y ds plus integral over the complement of the ball laplacian of phi into f of x minus y dy so we have used this formula here now because this phi is a fundamental solution of Laplace equation so Laplacian of phi that will be 0 so this term will become 0 so the value of k becomes minus integral of curl phi by curl nu into f of x minus y ds now let us find curl phi by curl nu partial derivative of phi with respect to the unit vector nu now by definition phi is a fundamental solution of laplace equation and by definition for n is equal to 2 it is given to be minus 1 upon 2 pi log of phi mod and for n greater than or equal to 3 it is given to be 1 upon n n minus 2 alpha n into 1 upon y mod raised to the power n minus 2 now let us find d of phi in both cases for n is equal to 2 from here its derivative that is given by minus 1 upon 2 pi into 1 upon y mod 
into the derivative of y mod. Derivative y mod is given by y upon y mod. So we have obtained the value of d phi in case when n is 2. Now when n is greater than or equal to 3, in that case d of phi that is given by uh, minus 1 upon n alpha n into y upon y mod raised to the power n. So we have obtained the value of d phi in both cases when n is 2 and when n is greater than or equal to 3. Now let us find the value of normal unit vector nu. Nu is pointing inward and by definition of unit vector this is given a vector divided by its magnitude. So nu will become minus y upon magnitude of y. So this will become minus y upon epsilon because y mod is epsilon. So d phi dot nu, the value of d phi is this term, taking a dot product with nu. Now y dot y, that is uh, y magnitude scale. So this term will become 1 upon n alpha n y mod scale upon epsilon raised to the power n plus 1. y mod is epsilon. So this will become epsilon scale. In the denominator, we have epsilon raised to the power n plus 1. So d phi dot nu finally becomes 1 upon n alpha n into 1 upon epsilon raised to the power n minus 1 on the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon. Now we can substitute this value in k. So the integral for k that becomes minus integral over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon of the function d phi dot nu into f of x minus y ds. Now this is further is equal to minus integral over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon. Inside we have 1 upon n alpha n epsilon raised to the power n minus 1 into f of x minus y ds. Now this term is constant we can take it outside the integral. Inside we have integral of f of x minus y over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon. Now by definition of average integral this is the average of the function f over the sphere with center 0 radius epsilon. So uh, this approaches to minus f of x as epsilon approaches to 0. So finally substituting all these values of integrals in Laplacian of u. So we can say that the Laplacian of u is equal to minus f. So this proves that the function u which is defined in the first part of the problem that is the solution of Poisson's equation. So this completes the topic how to find the solution of Poisson's equation.